The following clip describes how you can make a sample for a tape that has a width of more than one inch. Place a sheet of silicone release paper. Apply pieces of adhesive tape to hold the paper in place. Discard the top three to six layers of the tape. Use a stainless steel ruler, and special, 1 inch, double blade cutter, to cut the tape, as shown in the video. If you have a sample that has a width of less than 1 inch, you may use it directly, that is, without cutting. Discard the top 3 to 6 layers of the tape. Clean the test panel thoroughly with suitable solvent and let it dry completely. Stick the sample to the test panel as shown in the video, use a 4.5 pounds rubber roller to roll it 2 times forward and 2 times backward. Note: Use the handle only to guide the roller. Do not apply any additional pressure with your hand. Repeat the rolling action four times. Now, let's set up the machine. Now slide the base plate into position and tighten the bolts to hold it in position. Place the metal plate along with the sample onto the base plate. Fix the top grip, as shown here, and lock the check nut, to hold it in position. Fix the sample in the upper grip, as shown here. Use clips to hold the metal plate in place.
Switch the controller on, using the red switch, present at the back side, of the controller. Now let's set up the program. Start the software, and click on Adhesive Peel Test. Fill up the information as shown above. Press Done, and select Continue. Press 0, and then, press Start. As the machine moves up, try to maintain 90 degrees at the sample, by pushing the slide assembly towards the left side. you will see a slider under the graph. Try to select a flat portion, from the middle of the graph, neglect the starting of the graph, and a little bit from the end as well. Your statistical calculations, will be made from this portion, of the graph. Enter remarks if any, and then press save. A PDF report is generated, and shown on your screen.